What's up guys, it's Scythe back again for another Call of Cthulhu. Let's play! Yeah, let's play this game together! And look, look at this! Save point. Where am I? Why am I here? Where am I? Well, if you remember in the last episode, this right here is the Pillar of Death. This is the pillar that we were ducked behind and- oops, wrong button. We were ducked behind here and we were fighting them off and then we ended up bleeding out because down here's the stairs and stuff and yeah. So, I died many, many, many times. Like, in the process of getting ready for the next episode. But I ran through the whole area, I killed almost, not all, but almost all of the enemies because I ended up coming up into this same room, shot the glass, jumped through, noticed there was a save point, saved, and then I slowly just meticulously took my time peeking, shooting, peeking, shooting, peeking, shooting, until everyone was dead. Yeah. I also found out there's a door over there that's locked right now, which I'm pretty sure is the door that we have to take in order to... Well, yeah, I ended up going... Oh, yeah. That's right. I also ended up going a little bit up ahead, so I kind of know what's in store. Kind of, but not really. I, I tried, I was recording an episode, like going up into the next room and stuff, and it didn't really pan out. It ended up freezing over and stuff and just, yeah, it just, it just didn't really work out. But here's one thing that I found out which makes a world of difference. A Tommy gun. Look at this beautiful thing. Look at this. Look at this thing, oh my God. Seriously, this is just, look at this. This thing makes a world of difference. And I mean it. Because there's a part that comes up up ahead that is very, very difficult. And yeah, I haven't been able to make it through there since, like yet. I've only tried a couple times, but hopefully I'll be able to make it now that we're recording this other episode again. Yeah. So there's this big room and there's no enemies here or anything, but... As soon as we grab these keys, cutscene! Jack, I'm up here! Ruth, what the hell are you doing up there? I must have been followed. They stormed inside just moments ago. There was gunfire outside. I only just managed to climb up here and threw the ladder down to escape. I'm trapped up here, Jack. The door's padlocked and this ledge isn't gonna hold for much longer. I don't wanna die, Jack. Help me! Keep back! I'll figure something out. I can hear something. Spread it. Find him. Look everywhere! Find Search him. the area! Search everywhere! Find him! Search find everywhere! Him. Uh, I guess we weren't in a very good spot. Now let's see, this is the moment of truth. Uh. There! That right there is one of the most difficult parts that I've run into yet because getting past those guys is just impossible. Like, thank goodness I ended up screwing around because I found this Tommy gun. I tried that spot like, no joke, like 500 times and I just kept dying every time over and over and over and I was just, I ended up quitting and it was like, oh god. And so I ended up searching, conveniently. Hello? Oh, there we go. There we go. Jeez. And ended up finding this Tommy gun, and it made a world of difference. It's on Because, lock. yeah, yeah. Uh oh. Huh. Huh. Watch out for the nets. Yeah, watch out for the nets, see? We gotta watch out for the nets. And now I know the hard way that we gotta look way up in order to climb up this ladder. Oh god. Okay. I'm coming, honey. I'm coming, sweetheart. Don't worry. Jack is on the move. Jack is on the move. So, this is another one of those parts of this game where apparently. Like, you can actually not save her. Like, the thing that she's on can actually end up collapsing underneath. Hello. Come on, sweetheart. Brian's meeting us out back. I'll never be able to make it across the rafters. You'll have to get that door open. Okay, let me see if I remember. There it is. It's one. Huh. I said, huh. I said, let's get huh. The out of here. There we go. Now let's grab that. Come on, sweetheart. Come on, doll face, angel face, food, cake, chocolate. Let's go. Let's get down and out of here, sweet peaks. Sweet, sweetheart, man. Come on. Come on, angel face. Come on, sweetheart. Let's go. We got rock. We got bossa nova. We got boogie on out of here. Man. Uh oh. What's going on over here? Is she actually following us? Is she smart enough? Ooh, she is. She even has a specific animation to get down. That's cool. Come on. Come on. 
Is this where we're supposed to be? Oh, come on, Ruth. Hurry the hell up. <laughs> There's a bridge out of town not far from here. Just hold on. See? That's why I instituted myself in here. Man, what you doing? Oh, what are you doing? What's he doing? Is he strapping our head down? What's going on? Did I ask for your damn opinion? Remember who funds this damn nut house. Very well. Ah, it hurts. Uh, I hate needles. He's awake. Ah, Mr. Walters. Our friends in the Boston PD hold you up as quite the hero. Before you went all screwy, that is. I don't like heroes, Mr. Walters. And I don't care for your opinions, whoever the hell you are. J. Edgar Hoover, from the Bureau. And considering your position, Mr. Walters, you best mind your manners. Now, what was your business in Innsmouth? Just stopping in on some broad. I was feeling down on my luck. Needed the company. Ah, bullshit. There are only two types of folks that visit Innsmouth. Criminals and fools. And you don't seem like a fool. Appearances can be deceptive. I see. Dr. Hardstrom. If you'd be so kind. What's going on? Are we supposed to be getting shocked? Uh oh. What's he doing? What the. <laughs> Kiss me. Wake him up. Huh? Oh, stop injecting me with that, you sicko! Oh, I feel so alive. Just charge me with something, because I don't know nothing. This is not going to stop, Mr. Walters, so you may as well level with me. I already told you. It was nothing. A missing person case. And I needed the dough. Why are you killing me? Why are you running away? I'm scared like it here. What's going on? Is this supposed to be after the Innsmouth mission that we're playing at right now? Oh, how many times you can check the same hole, Doc? Oh, oh God. Oh. I was only checked in for one night, and I had to blow the joint in the early hours. Seems the locals didn't take kindly to my snooping. For Christ's sake, Walters. Is it normal in your line of work to break a punk out of the can, then breeze out of town in a stolen car? Only on the good days, but not normally. No. I've had a shitty night, Hoover. So I'd really appreciate you cutting me some slack. What's the Bureau's beef with Innsmouth, anyway? Widespread criminal activity, Mr. Walters. And half the damn town's involved. 
Our government's never had to handle something on this scale before. But they won't sanction a full-scale operation without more evidence. Well, I appreciate the bedtime story. I don't see where I come into this. Thanks to your meddling, Mackie's gone missing. And he was close to something. Something we could use. Missing? What do you mean, missing? He was supposed to check in hours ago. Our plans have now changed. You'll be accompanying us back into Innsmouth, Mr. Walters, on a small-scale raid. Our target? The Marsh Refinery. I'm not your lapdog, Hoover. I don't work for the Bureau. Oh god, I see. So this is after... <laughs> this is after the feds saved us in Innsmouth when the car exploded and Brian Burnham died and... I'm not in the business of making requests, Mr. Walters. Uh... Or have you forgotten your past so quickly? A signature here, a signature there. We can make you a permanent fixture of this delightful establishment. I could even arrange for you to have your old room back. You. Good night, Mr. <coughs> Walters. Pleasant dreams. All right, I'm gonna go through this, and you guys can pause and read it if you want. shows that you're a man to be trusted, even allowing for your stint in the nuthouse. I've packed you with armaments. I demand your complete cooperation. Our reconnaissance reports have confirmed Sebastian Marsh, the manager of the refinery, will be out of town on business. He's left his son Jacob in charge of operations. We won't get a better chance to launch this raid. Our mission is to capture Jacob Marsh. He may be our only chance to get under the skin of the Marsh family. We must secure him alive. Even with Sebastian away, we expect the refinery to be heavily guarded. I'll fill you in with more details when we have breached the main doors. Jack, you better stay in the car while my agents secure the entrance. I don't know. I don't like the looks of this. This looks like trouble. Get in your positions, agents! Keep sight of the loading bay! On the roof! Sustain your fire! <laughs> the heck was that? Take him down! <laughs> Hold your fire! Cooper, get those damn doors open! No, you damn fool! You're a damn fool! Man! <sighs> Wait! Cooper! Take cover! Well, that's anticlimactic, isn't it? The car, Jack. Now. Rawr, I gotta get out of here! <laughs> okay, you know what? I think we're gonna actually call it here, you guys, because this is getting intense. I'm, I'm coming! Because that car's probably going to blow. But we're going to deal with this turret in the next episode of Call of Cthulhu. Cth Cthulhu. Blah. Blah, blah, blah. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Sayonara and stay epic. Your face.